Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Asus VivoBook F515 and what's inside of it. To get inside of the laptop, you need to undo 10 Phillips head screws. Then, pop the bottom panel, starting the prying process from the front edges. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. After you lift the panel away, you will see an extraordinary cooling solution. Interestingly, it still features a heat pipe, that cools both the CPU and the GPU, and ends up at a heat sink on the side of the device. However, instead of the conventional fan location, just behind the heat sink, it is located far away from it. There are two plastic walls on the bottom panel, which channel the air towards the heat sink. On the bright side, it takes some heat away directly from the heat pipe, the chips the video memory, and the VRMs. Sadly, though, this means that air that is no longer cool reaches the heat sink and the thermal efficiency of the entire setup is compromised. As far as the memory goes, there are 4GB of DDR4 RAM soldered to the motherboard. Additionally, you have the option to upgrade it via the single SOTOM slot, which fits up to 16GB of DDR4 memory. Storage-wise, you have one M.2 slot, allegedly supporting PCIe X2 drives, and one 2.5-inch drive bay. Lastly, the laptop relies on a modest 37 watt hours battery pack, when it's not plugged into the wall. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.